When most people come across a really old Washington quarter, they think that they came across something very valuable. Sometimes that is the case, like some of the coins in this video that sold for a lot of money. In this video, I'm going to break down some Washington quarters and what you need to be looking out for to make sure that you don't accidentally spend one of these rare quarters. Without wasting any more time, let's hop into this first coin. You can see this is a 1934P quarter. And this coin sold for just over $6. That may seem like not that much money, but imagine finding a hundred of these coins. That's over $600. Same thing here, but this is a 1932 quarter. This is the first year the U.S. Mint ever minted this year of a quarter is 1932. And this coin sold for $10.50 on eBay. This one right here sold for $10.49. And this coin right here sold for $20,700. I'm going to tell you why right now. So this is a 1941D 25 cent Washington quarter graded by PCGS, a mint state 68 with a CAC sticker. So first let's go over the obvious. This coin looks like it has a lot of staining on it, but that's not actually the case. This coin has what's called toning on it. Toning is a naturally occurring process that happens when the air will oxidize with the metals in the coin. Toning can either have a positive or negative impact on the value of the coin. The eye appeal or desirability of toned coins really does come down to the opinion of the person buying them. One person may think a coin looks good while another thinks that it does not look good. It's good to know that a coin can still achieve a high grade like a 68 even though the coin is toned. Now it's important to remember that the highest achievable grade in grading is 70 and this is only two points away from the perfect grade of 70. If you flip the coin over and look on the back bottom center of the coin you will see a small little D mint mark. That D mint mark stands for the Denver Mint where this coin was minted. Depending on where your coin was minted will depend on how many coins were minted for that specific mint and year. Lastly, this has a CAC sticker. Now after you get your coin certified and graded, you can send your coin off to CAC and they will consider putting their sticker on your holder if the coin is worthy. You can either get a sticker saying that the grade is fair for the coin or you can get a sticker that means they think that the coin should possibly grade higher. All these things combined allowed it to sell for $20,700. Wait, 90% of you that watch the videos are still not subscribed. So you better subscribe right now so we can keep the lights on. Wait, wait, no, I was kidding. I was kidding. This 1962 quarter sold for $26,400 and this is why. Same thing here, this coin is also toned. Now a very important thing to know about toning is that there are some people out there that will artificially tone a coin to make it appear like it's a naturally toned coin. Now artificially toned coins are a super bad thing when it comes to coins. A lot of grading companies will either not grade the coins or they will simply not put a numerical grade on the coin. People artificially tone coins to try to make them look more fancy and desirable than they actually are. It's easy for experts to spot out an artificially toned coin. Next, toned coins only really matter on very rare varieties or very high graded coins like this one that graded at a PCGS Mint State 67 plus. So going on to the grade, 67 is a very high grade for a Washington quarter. And if you grade your quarter, that's a grade that you would want to achieve. This coin also has the plus designation after the grade. That small little plus feature seems like not that big of a deal, but it actually would increase the value of your coin significantly. All these things combined allowed this coin to sell for $26,400. This 1950 25 cent Washington quarter sold for $31,200. The first thing you're going to notice about this coin is how shiny and lustrous it is. That's because this is a proof coin. Proof coins typically look just like this, where they have a mirror reflective background or field of the coin. Proof coins are typically meant to go into collections, so finding one out in circulation is pretty challenging. And if you do, 
the grade or condition of the coin will likely not be suitable for you to send it off to get graded anyways. Because this 1950 Washington quarter graded so highly at a proof 68, this coin sold for $31,200. So remember at the start of the video, I showed you a few quarters. One of those quarters was worth $10 and it was a 1932. Well, same thing here, but this one sold for $40,250. This 1932 quarter graded by by PCGS, a mint state 67, also has some very beautiful toning on it. So this is what you want to be looking out for on your Washington quarter to see if it's worth a lot of money. Does your coin appear to have not many scratches or nicks on the coin? Where did you find the coin? Was it in a collection or out in circulation? If it was found in a collection and it's able to somehow grade very highly, you could sell your coin for a lot of money because this one sold for $40,250. Now, before I tell you about this coin, that sold for $74,400, I want to preface something. Getting your coins graded takes time and it costs money. You want to make sure that if you send your coin off to get graded, the coin will come back in a ballpark that you were hoping for. The last thing you want to do is send your coin off to get graded, spend that money and spend that time, all to find out that the coin comes back in a very low grade and it was actually not worth your time and money and you actually lost money doing it. That's why I have a completely free ebook on my channel going over coin handling, grading, and values. All you got to do is click the link below. I won't spam you or anything, but you don't have to do that. This 1932 quarter, if you flip it over on the back bottom center, you'll see the D min mark. We know that D min mark stands for the Denver mint where this coin was minted. Next, this has a very fiery, warm toning appearing on the coin, which definitely is a plus for this coin. Next, this coin graded at a 66 by PCGS. It's also important to remember when you sell your coin really does matter. If you sell your coin, at a market high, it's going to bring a lot more money than if you sell it at a market low. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos just like this one.